Hang on, fellas. Here we go with Bills. Bills Pale Ale, small batch, 5.2, which is a eh, decent old amount for Pale Ale. Established 1865. I find that amazing. So, this is made somewhere. And I'm going to open it first. Wow. Shit. Come out frothing, went everywhere. Spillage, not much. A few drops though. I'll allow that. I'm gonna go there. Otherwise, it's just gonna get bigger. Very looks luscious. Great color. Great gassy amount of explosion. Cheers. Yeah, bit of nose, it's not huge. It's not Bill's, it's Billson's. How's that? I called it Bill's because that's all I could read from there. No kidding. Well, yeah, that's okay. It's a pale ale, it's pretty. lot on a 5.2 but it's got a pretty good taste pretty well balanced nice frothy head it's okay probably a little bit steep at about five bucks a can but you gotta try these things um Dawson's. anyway I, I don't mind it as a beer it's pretty well balanced well put together well packaged, fancy can, still not a huge can though, it's only a little one, 355, so we're looking at some American brewers make them that big in Mexico, a few places, anyway, Bilson's Pale Ale, small batch they reckon, don't know how small, but it's pretty good. Now, a couple of them after work, you wouldn't be um, upset, you know. They'll wash down any meal. I've just had a serve of ribs. Yeah, that's right. Wolf down some nice ribs, marinated ribs in the slow cooker. Oh, delicious. There was never enough, is there? With ribs, you can always have triple what you have. Doesn't matter how many you have. You always want double or triple. You're kidding. Anyway, there's the Bilsons, Pale Ale, not the Bills. Cheers.